Alright, hi YouTube, so I'm doing the video out here real quick since my brother's in the bathroom and whatnot, but I figured uh, it's getting late tonight already. I just wanted to read chapters 6 through 10 for the book of Psalms. You probably can't see me that great. Uh, not the lightest, brightest room, right? Anyway, so I'm going to just read these chapters real quick, 6 through 10, the book of Psalms. Chapter 6. For the director of music with stringed instruments, according to Sheminet, a psalm of David. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, or discipline me in your wrath. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am faint. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony, my soul is in deep anguish. How long, Lord, how long? Turn, Lord, and deliver me. Save me because of your unfailing love. Among the dead, no one proclaims your name. Who praises you from the grave? I am worn out. Peanut! I am worn out from my groaning. All night long, I flood my bed with weeping and drench my couch with tears. My eyes grow weak with sorrow. They fell because of all my foes. Away from me, all you who do evil, for the Lord has heard my weeping. The Lord has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies will be overwhelmed with shame and anguish. They will turn back and suddenly be put to shame. That's the chapter 6, uh, Psalm 7. Uh, Shigion, uh, Shigion or something of David, which he sang to the Lord concerning Cush a Benjamite. Lord my God, I take refuge in you. Save and deliver me from all who pursue me. Or they will tear me apart like a lion and rip me to pieces with no one to rescue me. Lord my God, if I have done this, and there is guilt on my hands, if I have repaid my ally with evil or without cause have robbed my foe, then let my enemy pursue and overtake me. Let him trample my life to the ground and make me sleep in the dust. Arise, Lord, in your anger rise up against the rage of my enemies. Awake, my God, decree justice. Let the assembled peoples gather around you. Uh, let the assembled peoples gather around you while you sit enthroned over them on high. Let the Lord judge the peoples. Vindicate me, Lord, according to my righteousness, according to my integrity, O Most High. Bring to an end the violence of the wicked and make the righteous secure. You, the righteous God, who probes minds and hearts. My shield is God Most High, who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge, a God who displays his wrath every day. If he does not relent, he will, he will sharpen his sword. He will bend and string his bow. He has prepared his deadly weapons. He makes ready his flaming arrows. Whoever is pregnant with evil conceives trouble gives birth to disillusionment. Whoever digs a hole and scoops it out falls into the pit they have made. The trouble they cause recoils on them. Their violence comes down on their own heads. I will give thanks to the Lord because of his righteousness. I will sing the praises of the name of the Lord Most High. Okay, Psalm 8. For the director of music according to Giddeth, a psalm of David. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. Through the praise... <laughs> Peanut! Shut up. You have set your glory in the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds, and, and the wild and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky and the fish in the sea, and all that swim the paths of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Sorry, Peanut, just, I'm trying to do this. Psalm 9. And I love you, and God loves you, Peanut. You're still a nerd. For the director of music to the tune of the death of the son, a psalm of David. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing the praises of your name, O Most High. My enemies turn back. They stumble and perish before you. For you have upheld my rights and my cause. Sitting enthroned as the righteous judge, you have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. 
Endless ruin has overtaken my enemies. You have uprooted their cities. Even the memory of them has perished. The Lord reigns forever. He has established his throne for judgment. He rules the world in righteousness and judges the peoples with equity. The Lord is a, is a, the Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Sing the praises of the Lord and throne in Zion. Proclaim among the nations what he has done. For he who avenges blood remembers. He does not ignore the cities of the afflicted. I mean the cries of the afflicted. Lord, see how my enemies persecute me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gates of death that I may declare your praises in the gates of daughter Zion. And they rejoice in your salvation. The nations have fallen into the pit they have dug. Their feet are caught in a net they have hidden. The Lord is known by his acts of justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. The wicked go down to the realm of the dead, all the nations that forget God. But God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will never perish. Arise, Lord, do not let mortals triumph. Let the nations be judged in your presence. Strike them with terror, Lord. Let the nations know they are only mortal. Psalm 10 Why, Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In his arrogance, the wicked man hunts down the weak who are caught in the schemes he devises. He boasts about the cravings of his heart. He blesses the greedy and reviles the Lord. In his pride, the wicked man does not seek him. In all his thoughts, there is no for God. His ways are always prosperous. Your laws are rejected by him. He sneers at all his enemies. He says to himself, nothing will ever shake me. He swears no one will ever do me harm. His mouth is full of lies and threats. Trouble and evil are under his tongue. He lies in wait near the villages. From ambush, he murders the innocent. His eyes watch in secret for his victims. Like a lion in cover, he lies in wait. He lies in wait to catch the helpless. He catches the helpless and drags them off in his net. His victims are crushed. They collapse. They fall under his strength. He says to himself, God will never notice. He covers his face and never sees. Arise, Lord, lift up your hand, O God. Do not forget the helpless. Why does the wicked man revile God? Why does he say to himself, he won't call me to account? But you, God, see the trouble of the afflicted. You consider their grief and take it in hand. The victims commit themselves to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked man. Call the evildoer to account for his wickedness. That would not otherwise be found out. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations will perish from his land. You, Lord, hear the desire of the afflicted. You encourage them, and you listen to their cry, defending the fatherless and the oppressed, so that mere earthly mortals will never again strike terror. And that's five chapters. I would like to say that there are a lot of people going on. Like There's stuff I heard just the last 24 hours. So that the mark of the beast is starting to actually happen. Like in China, they're doing that stuff like through Bitcoin and other things. They're using the black market money where people are trying to invest to make a buck, like to make a lot, you know. And so they're actually doing all that stuff. And uh, China is actually trying to take all that money. And I guess it's all like coming from China that started. And then other people are buying in and investing. And what they're doing is putting all their money into that. And apparently they're trying to make it in China pretty soon. In the next decade or two, it probably happened by to where nobody can use cash anymore. You have to have a credit card and, or like a, a thing, like a whatever, such and such. It's probably like the Mark of the Beast type stuff. Uh, just look up about China, the Mark of the Beast. And another thing that they're, they, I just saw today that apparently they're doing in China, they're recalling all religion. So any religious books, any anything to do with religion, anything pretty much because they want God out. So, so even if you serve other false gods and stuff, like it doesn't matter anything to do with religion, with God or, or other false gods, you know. So, because they're just trying to get God out, period. So, I think that's why they're attacking all so-called gods. Because, anyways, China, I don't care if you got a billion people. And I don't care if the leaders of whatever ever see this. Or, I'm not scared. And I'm one of the few million who put my faith in God. I mean, I'm not, I believe there's a few, more than a few million. There's Because there's like 7 billion people, I'd like to think there's at least 1 billion of us alive who are Christians who can stand up and fight. But... That's, of course, throughout the whole earth, not just one country. And one country alone has one billion people, but 
they're oppressing their own people so bad. I mean, and it's funny, the stuff that, you know, there was that African-American woman, whatever, in the Olympics, and she didn't win, and, and, and she made a thing, and she refused to, like, she, she disrespected, I guess, the national anthem, and so she literally is just trying to make a publicity thing. She said because that national anthem isn't for her people. She was never around. She wasn't even a thought. She wasn't even a twinkle in the eye of some guy or whatever and so and so before, you know, like when, when, the, uh, when the actual black African-American oppression happened in like whatever the 50s or whatever, like it ended by the 50s or 60s or something like that or anyways. And I don't know, like it was, you know, yeah, a long, long, long time ago. Most people that were even around back then if they're alive now, they were literally little kids back then, probably, I'm not saying that they weren't affected, and I'm not saying that racism isn't still out there, it is, but, anyways, uh, I'm just, I'm tired of everybody using something, just, uh, you know, that, that lady, she doesn't turn her life around, she's gonna go straight to hell, and I'm saying that because she's sitting there using racism, using evil, and using lies, saying America's racist, America's not for black people, okay, so we had a black president. I mean, look at all these people. Look at look at Oprah it was a billionaire, and not many guys ever are billionaires. And she was a black woman billionaire, okay, or whatever. I don't know. I'm just ranting on now, and I don't want to do that. So there was Psalms six to ten, and God loves you all. God bless. And I know you probably can't see me that great because I swear we need better light. But uh, anyways, as long as you can hear the five chapters, that's all that matters. Have a blessed week. God loves you. And I'll see you tomorrow when I make another one.